Well, we watched AEW Rampage, February 11th, 2022. It opened with Young Bucks versus Rapongi Vice. When I say it opened, two teams in the ring. This is the Bucks. This is the Vice. Fight! We gotta get this shit going. It was a 17-minute match. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. Very awesome. I like uh, Ricky Starks on commentary talking about staying up late to watch these two teams fight in New Japan in 2016. And that, of course, led to some uh, jokes about how young he was from Jericho and whatnot. So... This match was super, super, super fun. Almost as if there was two teams that had a dozen great matches in the past. I love the early on spot where the Bucks tease a walkout and Rapongi Vice goes to go get them, but it's a trap. And the Bucks at super kicks are the top of the ramp and they go sprinting back to the ring to try to win by count out. Yes. That was brilliant. We had Orange getting the Bucks face at ringside and retreating under the ring and then they go to pull him out, but it's Dan Housen instead. And that was it. He cursed them, which turned out to be not an effective curse in the long run. He left. We come back, and they're explaining what the Rapongi district is, because not everyone at home knows what Rapongi Vice means. It's where the tourists in Tokyo spend all their money. The big party, dis- party, na- party neighborhood. And so there's a thousand big moves here. They go for more bang for your buck. It's counter with a top rope German, a strong zero, and the melter driver's not the finish. And finally, after just every cool move in the world, they finish off the... Uh, I think it was Trent. They pinned him with a BTE trigger. A goddamn fun match. I love the uh, the kick out of the Melter driver. I, I couldn't even believe my eyes. You know, they they kicked out of moves that you would kick out of on a pay per view, but they they promised this match weeks ago, and then uh, Rocky Romero ended up with COVID, so they couldn't do it. And uh, that's when they did the uh, Trent Beretta match with Nick. That uh, that Nick Jackson lost to Trent Beretta to set this this match up. And so they went out, and they they went all out. I wouldn't say it was like a five star match or anything like that, but for ah, a, but for a TV match on Rampage, I mean, it was certainly in the in the upper echelon of matches. And then that fucker Jay White showed up and uh, took out Trent Beretta with the Blade Runner. So now they're going to be wrestling on Rampage. So we're going to get our first Jay White match on on Rampage coming up. And yeah, this was an excellent opener. Yeah, they um, they're having like a three star match, and then um, Rapongi hit a uh, hit a pair of Germans, followed up by the Bucks hitting a, a pair of super kicks. So it was a double down or quadruple down, and then from there it uh, it bumped up to a, a three and a half, three and three quarter star match. It was uh, very good. Um, I, Danhausen in the Best Friends. I'm still trying to figure out where he fits in. He's like the evil, weird friend. I don't, I don't get it. But um, <laughs> have you listened to the show? Don't we all have an evil, weird friend. Which one of us is me? Evil? I'm evil and weird. I thought you were talking about me. No, I'm, I'm happy that you chose yourself. <laughs> okay, you guys should fight for it. No, uh, anyway, Vinny can anyway. take the the designation <laughs> of evil, weird friend. Yes, it was a great television match and. Uh, how could these guys have a bad match? Hey, you know who's a great smart worker is that Nick Jackson, mm, right? You ever notice that uh, he flips over a lot on these moves? Mm-hmm. Smart. Mm-hmm. A lot of guys land on their necks and heads. I see, like Trent. But uh, he, he, you know, they throw the big German. He just flips all the way over, which is which is uh, interesting because a, it actually looks more spectacular. Like if you showed it to some random bloke. Like, which one is cooler? When the guy does the German and, and holds a bridge? Or when he throws the guy, the guy does a full flip and crashes on the mat. They go, oh, the one where he does the flip. Little do they know that one is a much safer bump. So I could not help but notice that, uh, you know, he wasn't landing on his head a lot. Unlike a guy who was in this match who just came back from neck surgery. As who a... cannot help. It's like, his, it's like they put a magnet in his neck. <laughs> what a bad surgeon. Yeah. I didn't know the ring mat was made of metal. The ring is metal under there. Are you kidding me? Big giant spring and chains. I can see who's never put a ring together in this crew. Yes, you and I. Yeah, I did all the ring work. Yeah, and it made me evil. Our fucking ring was made by a fucking bridge builder. Yeah, that thing was all steel. (laughs) Seven. I don't think there was any wood on it. Remember that ring Debashi had that was made out of concrete? Actually, well, yeah, that was a bad one too. Good lord! Yeah, the oh, problem with Tim's man. ring wasn't the, the 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 how hard it was to bump on. It was the fact that it had peaks and valleys. And you <laughs> no, were, it wasn't. You, you know, were, I mean, there were some peaks and valleys <laughs> for a wrestling ring. It had peaks, and but valleys. it was weird, Vinny, because like most most wrestling rings, 
have uh you know like a a, a a two by six or whatever like a whole bunch of them yes. laid out yes like a like a piano basically sure and that causes a fucking problem because you get these shitty rings and they start going like this like actually like a fucking piano so you're trying to run and all the boards are you're like mm-hmm. running on top of and then you know you could kill yourself but then tim's ring they didn't use the the two by sixes. They used they used flat large panels of like four large flat plywood. I guess it would have been uh, uh, Craig. You're the woodworker. Help us out here. Five by five sheets of plywood. Basically, yeah. Right. Part, or no, it'd be part. bigger than that. Well, they were right. Ten by ten, but whatever. Because twenty yeah. by actually the ring was you know eighteen whatever. But anyway, the point is is it was uh, flat pieces of plywood. Particle board. And then uh, board, whatever. And then they put the shit over it, but. Um, for some reason, this was the weirdest fucking ring I ever saw in my life. Most rings, they put the metal bars across that you put the piano uh, keys on. And because it's a long thing of metal, that's what gives the ring the give. Well, fucking this bridge builder that built Tim's ring, he builds this big fucking X. And then under the X, there's a spring. Right. Okay, because it's like, well, you know, you want the, me- the thing to be springy. Well, we're going to put a fucking spring there, and the goddamn fucking spring is, like, this thick, and so, like, a fucking elephant could jump up and down on this spring, and it's not going to budge this spring. So what it actually was was just, like, a a fucking straight piece of fucking metal in the middle of the ring. So, like, the worst place to bump was in the middle of the ring! That was the worst place! It was worse than the apron! God! Am I wrong? I just look at the Defy ring and just, like, you guys are so lucky. Buddy's Fuck. ring. You guys are so lucky. Yeah. Am I wrong, Vinny? You put that fucking thing together. Well, I was an elephant, so I fell on it and bumped. God. It, it, it sprung. You, you were tiny, so you, you, when, when you fell on it, you sprung. But yes. But you're right. You're right about everything else. Yeah, that, that was... Anyway. Did you mention when uh, Brandon Cutler tried to cold spray orange... Cassie, but orange had yes. his glasses on? Okay, yes. Died. Make sure that gets in there. And then uh, Jay White hit the Blade Runner on Trent and kind of left for the Bucks. Like, the best part about the spraying into the sunglasses part was first he starts spraying and he sprays right into Orange Cassidy's eyes. And Orange Cassidy doesn't budge because he's wearing sunglasses. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, Brandon Cutler's such a fucking geek in storyline that he just keeps spraying. Yes. And so yes. Orange stands there and finally Orange points at his glasses as if to say, I'm wearing glasses. You can stop spraying now. That's when Brandon Cutler figured it out. This is a great spot. Because I love geeks. <laughs> Who doesn't? I'm your host, Brian Alvarez. Joined, of course, by Big Vinny V. Hi, Brian. Craig. Hello. Lance Storm. Is that a towel? Craig, uh, legit looks like Julius Caesar. Yeah, I did my, my hair down. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Seems like we got a lion loose in, in uh, Lance's house, coincidentally. Yeah. <laughs> Is Lance, that a Lance, puma? Lance brought the yeah. jungle beast. I was hoping Bridger would come along to either feed me these grapes or wave me with one of those big fans, but when I suggested this, she was surprisingly negative. What? Why? I didn't like that idea one bit. Why? Oh, my God, Vinny, please. Mm. Make sure you take that outfit to Hawaii and get video of you running down the beach in it. Oh, bro, oh. this thing's going everywhere with me. It's awesome. All right, here we go. I couldn't take a big one. Uh, mm. Excuse me. Look who's here. Vinny, hand her them grapes. I have the greatest wife. She's going to give me a couple of grapes, not too many. I'm on a low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> like all Romans. <laughs> have you ever eaten a grape before? It's not I've alive. I've fed a grape. Thank you, love. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll take one more. No, I won't. Oh, God, she's really... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Or more. Suck it off! Hey, we're not having a food fight in here. God damn it. <laughs> Grapes all over the floor. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.